Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Power Core Combiner Skyburst with Aerial Bots. Did that all in one breath. But regardless of that fact, let's go ahead and get started. This are, or these are the five pack. It comes with four drones. Skyburst is the dude in the middle here. This is some weird looking Raptor SR-71 uh, looking thing, I don't know. It does have landing gear which I oh, retracted for some reason. Uh, so it's kind of neat, detailed. The other drones are kind of weird mishmash. Uh, thanks. Uh, this looks like a 15, 16, F-16. Okay, has a gap. Drones don't have a name. Autobot symbol. Kind of neat. Detail, okay. Apache looking, weird looking drone with guns. I like the guns. Kind of neat. Pop open. Uh, just two blades. Gray, silver. Yeah, not bad. Uh, yeah, won't do too much with that. It has the quasi landing gear. Each one has the quasi landing gear. A nice little rescue copter looking thing. Bright yellow, red, like it. Not bad, not bad. So these drones don't have any names. And this one's my personal favorite because it looks like a A-10 Thunderbolt crossed with a AWAC. So, yeah. Got huge guns and is able to... Go for reconnaissance, kind of like contradiction in terms. Either you re redo recon or you're a fighter jet. Not both. Kind of weird. Well, maybe the growlers, the eight, eight, the new 18 growlers are kind of neat in that way. And there's Sky, Sky Burst. Raptor 47 looking. If you ever saw my review on the Universe Silver Bolt, that's what it kind of looks like. So, not bad. Not bad. Looking good. All right, let's go ahead and transform them. Kind of interesting transformation. Uh, I th like how they hide the parts on there. They got the retracting landing gear, so I like that. Bam, just like that. Easy day. So let's go ahead, do a quick transformation. I'm gonna pop this out and you can see the dude's head, but that's all right. I'm gonna pop the legs. They do just go all the way down. All right, arms split apart. And I like that there's just huge amounts of articulation in the arms. And we're going to pull that down because there is his, there it is. Don't have any heel spurs, which I really don't like. You can use the connection ports for that if you so desire. Give them a little bit of extra stability. So not bad. Extra stability if you need it. Turn down his backpack. Cool. And there we go. Twist the arms around. He's got these weird molded arms. Nothing horrible, but you know. There we go. Huge backpack. Looks okay. I wonder if he can stand all right. Yes. Not bad. He's like scout class, legend class, whatever you want to call that. Slightly bigger. Here's G.I. Joe for a comparison. So yeah, about four inches tall. Not a bad power bolt core combiner. So, kind of cool. Not my thing, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and form him up. Let's go ahead and combine his torso. First thing we're going to do, see if I can remember this has been a while, because we're going to pop up his head. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to lift, put that down. Okay, cool. There we go. That is how you do it. So yeah, just 90 degrees back. Cover his head. And voila. Pop that head open. Good. Yeah. Okay. I know they got the combiner ports over here. And that thing always seems to fall out. Let's see. They just swivel that forward. Swivel that forward. And there's two connection. Nope, there's not a connection port. It just hangs there. Not a big deal, but oh well. Oh yeah, cover his face. Good. I know that the arms, you'll have to swivel, and they do connect into a tab. There's a tab somewhere that I'm missing. Oh yeah, that's right. This thing swivels up underneath that tab right there. Cool. And that connects, to, see that again. So the arms will swivel in connect right there and that swivels and connects right there okay 
again bear with me it's been a while so yeah remember leave that open take the arm one thing I forgot to mention is the articulation on this dude is okay got ball jointed double jointed arms here swivels pretty good nothing on a wrist swivel thigh swivel huge knee so the proportion is kind of weird and there's a swivel right there and of course not really a heel spur but not bad so we're just going to take that and just connect it right there there's a little tab right there kind of yeah and then connect that perfect all right and the legs we're just going to rotate them out until it connects you can kind of hear it there we go I know you heard that swivel that out and those are your combiner ports oh yeah and the backpack huge backpack yeah I think they go out of the way somewhere but I can't seem to get it Cover the face. There we go. <laughs> Alright, not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and connect these drones. I think they're specific in the places where they have to go. So, I think you just pop that one in. That's one of the arms. Cool. Take the AWAC drone and just pop that. You can see where they pop in. So, it's not like a big surprise and it just forms by itself automorph if you will a little automorph gimmick there we go there we go so there's the arm weird looking arm to tell you the truth but whatever and this thing's stability is awful and I'm going to tell you that way awful so let's see okay here it is stick that with that and try to uh, yeah I forgot kind of tricky moving parts here and there's the heel spur dang this guy is tricky and one more yeah just flip the canopy down just pops in two whew, tricky ports I think I can I think I can there we go yeah this is one floppy mess okay put the wings out so it kind of gets out of the way there's no real good place to put it in his backpack or anything so I think I might be missing a step over here but oh well it is what it is yeah trying to get this guy to stand is no easy task there he goes he does have some articulation and while I have him upright let me go ahead and give him a size comparison there he is with a Voyager class figure so he is about Voyager class size not gonna lie to you and I got a real combiner so you can see how much smaller he is no big deal so yeah about Voyager's class size take these guys out the frame articulation wise he does have it if he wasn't such a big floppy mess he won't be too bad there he is on the shoulder moves in and out has this weird gripping thing right here for arms same thing with this one if you can get that there's his arms <laughs> yeah legs same articulation swivel over here uh, kind of does have a knee so you got that so, but don't expect him to get in too many poses because he is one floppy mess yep one floppy mess that's why I can't really recommend this guy but hey it was a loose figure I bought it for 15 bucks pretty cool okay five out of ten that's all I got youtubers and I'll catch y'all next time